Hey there guys, Dave from BC Bushcraft. Today I wanted to show you guys my Viking style inspired knife that um, is actually a Bushcraft knife mod and it's not a knife that I've purchased or that I made myself. What I did, this is actually my Mora Classic 1 that I've had for multiple years now. I've had it for a very long time and I did some modifications to it. I really wanted to kind of make this knife stand out and make, give it some personality because a more classic one, just in my opinion, <laughs> coming with the red handle and things like that, um, coming with the plastic sheath, it's not the most, you know, attractive knife in this sense, it, but it is a very good carving utility knife to be having in the woods alongside, a, you know, an axe or alongside a big knife, that sort of thing. It is a very functional knife. You can get it really sharp, but the steel is pretty good. It holds an edge very well. But I wanted to give it some personality and, you know, put my own flair to a knife that um, performs pretty well in the woods for the price that you can get these things for. So what I actually did with this thing is um, uh, before I had sanded it down a bit to try to get rid of some of the, you know, just the solid red color to the handle. Uh, this time around, I actually uh, took another knife and carved off the red finish. And that's how you can kind of see it's like a little bit of like a honeycomb effect because of the way that I carved at it. So the first step was carved off all of the red looking handle to this knife. After that, I went with a burn style finish and I wasn't really sure how to accomplish this when I first started the project. The knife looked a lot better without the red handle, that's for sure, but I wanted to you know, give it some of a burn design and I wasn't really sure how I did that, how I was going to do that. I didn't really look it up too much or anything like that. But what I ended up doing is I actually, we have like a flat uh, ceramic top stove and I turn that thing on high and I will show a little clip of what I actually did. But basically I, I rotated it over the, the hot element and it gave this uh, burn effect to it and some of the areas where I carved it you know it didn't touch so you can kind of see the wood still and that's how it, I ended up getting that sort of a finish on the knife. Uh, after that stage was done I went to the carbon steel blade so I filed down the the top of the blade here so it's square and I can throw sparks with it off of a ferro rod. After that um, I did a little bit of uh, refinishing to the edge because it didn't come factory perfect. Uh, right out of the box. It kind of had a little bit of a wonky um, Scandi grind to it, but I kind of redid the edge just a tiny bit and uh, You know stropped it so it's razor sharp at the moment. I then put a force patina on it as well The force patina I did was a mustard force patina, which I have uh, on other video more in detail But I'll give you a short little clip of what I did to force the patina on here mustard Force mustard patina is a very easy patina to put on your carbon steel knives and it looks very sharp very very cool you can get some really cool designs and effects from the forced mustard patina so if you're considering doing a forced patina on your knife i highly suggest the forced mustard patina so that's how i kind of got that effect and i did multiple layers of a forced mustard patina not just like once I, I kept going with it until i got the desired effect that i wanted to also, um, I don't really like the plastic sheath, and this happens to be a just a cheap sheath from a Gearbest knife. It's not ideal, but it's a lot better than the plastic sheath. So uh, I kind of switched it up. It sits in there with the clip uh, held down. It kind of just sits like it's the like the old sheath, the plastic one, where it's just uh, the retention of of the sheath that holds it in. So. It's a slight upgrade. The belt loop is better on this sheath and it fits the nice knife, knife nicely as well. Man, I just really didn't do not like the plastic sheath that it comes with. The uh, Mora Companions have a lot better sheath design than, than these guys here. These just feel really cheap to me. Some of the belts don't fit on that sheath and in the end, I really want to make my own leather sheath for this knife to tie everything together. Something else that I did as well is that I put a lanyard hole. I drilled through this thing with a standard drill and put a little bit of a paracord la lanyard on it with some figure eight knots to tie it off. This is like a pinky lanyard. I can put my pinky in there. 
gives me a little bit more stability with the knife. I can also like kind of do like a fist filler if I feel like I need a little bit more than the handle and it just makes it a little bit easier to grab out of the sheath than if it just was uh, without a lanyard basically. So that's another little touch that I did. In the end this knife project turned out really well. I'm super impressed how good it looks really and I highly suggest that you guys try this out for yourself. It's you know it won't take you it might take you half an hour to accomplish something like this. Carving off the handle doesn't take that much time as long as you have a sharp another sharp knife to do it like a more companion would be perfect and then the patina it doesn't take very long you just slap some mustard on there and you do that a few times wiping it off with a paper towel and just keep redoing that and you can turn you know a very what I think is a boring knife some people might not think it's a boring knife but I think it's a boring knife <laughs> into something that's got some personality some style and you know you know make it like a viking style knife it gives it that edge to it that you know makes it seem more rustic than it really is <laughs> in the end but anyways I really hope that you like this video I hope this gives you guys some ideas on how you can modify your bushcraft knives especially if they have wood handles you should be able to do this to any knife that has a wood handle to it um, probably don't do it to your expensive knives because <laughs> you don't want to ruin the handles on them but uh, things like any more that have a wood handle you can do this with so I hope you like this video. This is Dave from BC Bushcraft. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.